hip, hip, hooray for DNA. It provides the key to the plans for making everything in you and me. Welcome to one of the past HSC exam question videos. What we're going to do in this video is cover the exam questions, the multiple choice questions of the reproductive technologies chapter. There's four questions in this video. While doing a second, I'll read the questions. Once I've read the question, you get about five seconds to pause the video, then attempt the question, and then press play when you're ready. So for the first question, it says, Reproductive technologies focus on the transfer of genetic information. Which process only involves the transfer of the nucleus? A. Cloning. B. Transgenesis. C. Artificial pollination. Or D. Artificial insemination. When ready, pause the video and attempt the question. Welcome back. For this one, the answer is cloning. In transgenesis, we actually only transfer parts of the DNA. So only parts of the DNA are transferred, not the whole of the nucleus. So that's wrong. Artificial pollination is when we just grab the whole of the a gamut. So we don't just grab the nucleus, we'll grab the whole of the gamut and put it in a different flower. So it's not just the nucleus, it's just the whole gamut. And same thing with artificial insemination, but it's, uh, insemination refers to semen, so that's with animals. But that's also not just nucleus, that's the whole gamut, so B is false, so A is correct. Next question, to protect a farm animal from a plant toxin, a gene for the resistance to the toxin was transferred to the farm animal. What term the best describes this process? A. Cloning. B. Genetic engineering. C. Artificial pollination. D. Artificial insemination. And ready, pause the video and attempt the question. Welcome back. For this one, the correct answer is genetic engineering. If we have, if we transfer one gene from one to the animal to the next, we don't call it cloning. That's identical species copies. We don't call it artificial pollination or insemination because that refers to transfer of gametes from one species to the other one. When it comes to tra transferring just a gene, that's called genetic engineering. So B is correct. Next question is, how can widespread use of artificial insemination alter genetic composition of a population? A. It results in many genetically identical individuals. B. It makes certain alleles more common in the population. C. It decreases the number of chromosomes in some individuals. D. It ensures that only genetic composition of the males is altered. Are you ready? Pause the video and attempt the question. Welcome back. The correct answer is B. The reason why D and C are incorrect is it has nothing to do with decreased number of chromosomes, that's false, and it also has nothing to do with just making males have a genetic change. It also doesn't have to do anything with cloning, so there's nothing, nothing's identical when it comes to artificial insemination. Artificial insemination is when you grab the sperm of, let's say, a bull, and artificially put it into a cow. So the, we don't get clones, we just get certain alleles, the favorable alleles, increasing in that population. That's why B is correct, and the other ones are incorrect. Next question is current reproductive, this is also the next and last question. Current reproductive technologies can be used to alter the genetic composition of a population. Some of these methods were also used in the 19th century by Gregor Mendel. How did Mendel use reproductive techniques in his experiments? A. He artificially inseminated the pea plants to achieve wrinkled seeds. B. He cloned the pea plants with round seeds to increase their food supply. C. He created transgenic species by mixing tall pea plants and short pea plants. D. He artificially pollinated the pea plants to test for different genotypes in their offspring. And ready, pause the video and attempt the question. Welcome back. In this case, the correct answer is D. The reason why A was incorrect, tox insemination refer refers to semen. Plants don't have semen, they have pollen, so A, A is incorrect. B is incorrect because he did not clone them to increase their food supply. That's just random, that's not true. C is incorrect because he created a hybrid, but that's not a transgenic species. They're still the same species. Both pea plants are the same species. We don't call it a transgenic species. 
D is correct because it used pollination, which has to do with plants. And he did, that to, he did that to test for different genotypes in offspring. So D is correct. The other ones are wrong. But hopefully that was useful. Thank you for watching.